This Memorial Day weekend, the Quad Cities is honoring all those who gave their lives in service to their country. But there are two in particular who were recognized today. And as News 8's Jenna Webster explains, that recognition is more than 100 years overdue. At Davenport City Cemetery. All the stories are unique. Each stone marks a piece of history. We just want to make sure that no one's forgotten. But not every piece of history has always had a stone. Thank you all for coming. Volunteers have worked hard to uncover the histories of two Civil War veterans. There were some incredible stories that came out of that. Previously in unmarked graves. That brings me to our first veteran, Stephen Van Fleet. Sergeant Timothy Cromer's grandmother is one of those researchers. To honor those veterans, uh, recent veterans, and uh, distant past veterans such as these two uh, is, is very important and it, I think it's, it's part of, you know, honoring our history as, as America. Now those two vets. And Gustav enlisted in September 13th, 1861. Are finally being honored. Hey. Hey. Their final resting place is now marked with a headstone. Their names and military units written for all to see. We've added some every year since I've been on board, so um, it's really great that, that we can finally get headstones for these folks and finally have them recognized. And a history that now will never be forgotten. Private Van Fleet was discharged November 3rd, 1863 for a disability. Even if it took over a century to learn it. In Davenport, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. Those headstones were provided by the U.S. Veterans Administration. Around 100 veterans are buried in the Davenport City Cemetery.